Hi everyone! In this video we will show you how to post information on Facebook with API by using Embarcadero Delphi FMX application. Today's social network Facebook is very popular among users all over the world. Different companies and individuals post information to their Facebook pages. The number of information to post increases. So there is a need to automate information posting process. Facebook API, Graph API can help us to solve this problem in an easy way. By using Facebook Graph API, we can carry out various activities, get current account information, for example name and profile identifier, publish it photos URL links, number of user friends, etc. Automate different information, text message, links, photos and videos URL links for posting process to use as Facebook page. We will show you how to create Facebook app and do corresponding settings to carry out different information posting to users Facebook page. We will do test requests by using embedded debugger tool Graph API Explorer. To work with Facebook Graph API, we will use get post delete requests. For example, to get username and ID, we will use get request. To post message or link to Facebook page, we will use post request. To delete post by ID, we will use delete request. To use Facebook Graph API, you should have Facebook users account. You should go by link and login. Also, you should be registered as a developer. When you first log in, you should click Get Started and follow the instructions. We have already registered as a developer account. To open Facebook app creation page, let's click My Apps. So here we will create our app by clicking Create App. Here we select Company and click Next. Here we type name of our app. We select yourself or your own business and then click Create App. Then we type our Facebook account password and click Submit. Then we should do some settings for our app. We need to get page access token and set permissions for posting. For this purpose, let's run Graph API Explorer. Graph API Explorer helps us to set permissions for posting to get page access token and make test posting to our Softacom Facebook page. So here we will select our app's name to get page access token. We will select Get Page Access Token. Then just click Continue as current Facebook user. So here we will select our Softacom page for posting and click Further. Here just click Further. Then just click OK. So we have generated user access token. Let's test get request to get username and ID. So we successfully got username and user ID. So we need to select our page, Softacom.
then you should set special permissions for posting, such as publish to groups. And page manage posts. To update our app permissions and save them, we will click Generate Access Token. Then just click Continue. Let's select our page Softacom. Let's make test request to get our page name. We have saved page ID. Let's click Submit. So we have successfully received page name and page ID. Let's post message to our page by using post request. So we have got our post ID. So we have posted our message to our Facebook page. To delete our post, we will make the let request to our Facebook page. So select the let request. Copy ID of our post. And click Submit. So our post successfully deleted. Our generated page access token is valid only 3 hours. To use our access token in our Delphi app, you should get long term page access token. Then we just click here, open an access token tool. Extend access token. Click Submit. So our long term access token is ready. Let's copy it and save for further using in our Delphi app. For further using request in our Delphi FMX app, we will get request body by get code. For posting to Facebook page from Delphi, we will use previously prepared FMX application. To make requests to Facebook Graph API by Delphi app, we will use the net HTTP request and to net HTTP client components from components palette item net. So you can easily drag them and drop on the form. Also you should set 
the NetHttp HTTP request client field to our current NetHttp client 1. Also, you should set MetaStream field to POST. Just type POST. To avoid problems with connection on Windows 7, you should set secure protocol settings for NetHttp client component. For text message typing, we will use the memo component. From components palette, items and duck. For type and link, picture URL for further posting to Facebook page. We will use the edit component from components palette, standard. For post ID typing to delete post, we will use the edit component also. JSON response from Facebook Graph API will be saved in the memo. In form on create handler, we will assign page access token to string type token variable. Go to form on create. Our token string variable and our page access token. So in our app, we can post message to Facebook, only simple text message. We can update message to Facebook page. You can post picture URL to Facebook page. You can send post with message and link and delete post by ID. So let's consider post message and link button on click handler. User's message to post from team memo will be saved in mass string variable. User's link to post will be saved into link string variable. Such parameters as text message link will be sent by POST request. The multi part form data class will help us to hold all parameters to POST. Further, the multi part form data object will be transferred to NetHttp request POST method. Post method takes three parameters such as server's URL address, the multi part from data object that holds all parameters, and the memory stream object. JSON response will be saved to the memory stream object and further visualize it in the memo as a text. To delete post by its ID, we will use delete request.
To update our post to Facebook, we will use post request. Let's test our FMX Delphi app. We have our software com page and we will post text message and link to it. Just click send post with message and link. So we successfully posted information to our page and we received post ID. So we see our post on Softacom page. To delete our post we will use post ID and click delete post button. Our post successfully deleted.